Training your telescope's drive gives your telescope a higher degree of pointing accuracy. Perform the train the drive procedure the first time you use the Autostar with your telescope, after a reset, or if you're experiencing any pointing accuracy problems. Perform this exercise once every three to six months to maintain the highest level of pointing accuracy. It's recommended that you perform this procedure in the daytime. Select a tall, unobstructed terrestrial target, such as a telephone pole, flagpole, or lamppost for this procedure. Initialize Autostar as described earlier in this video. Once Autostar is initialized, keep pressing mode until Select Item Object displays. Press the Scroll Up key once. Select Item Setup displays. Press Enter to access the Setup menu. Setup Align displays. Keep pressing the Scroll Up key until Setup Telescope displays. Press Enter to access the Telescope menu. Keep pressing the Scroll Down key until Telescope Train Drive displays. Press Enter to choose the Train Drive option. Train Drive As Train displays. Press Enter to begin As Training. As is a shortened version of the word azimuth. The first part of this procedure trains your telescope's drive on the RA axis. This is the side-to-side -side or horizontal movement of the telescope. Later, you'll train the drive on the declination or deck axis. The message, Drive Setup for this operation, begins to scroll across the display. This is a reminder to point your telescope at the terrestrial target you've selected. Loosen the deck lock. Loosen the RA lock. Point the telescope at your target, look through the viewfinder and eyepiece, and then retighten the locks. Press Enter when the telescope is pointing at the target. Center Reference Object displays. Center your target in the telescope's eyepiece using the arrow keys. When the target is centered, press Enter. When Enter is pressed, the telescope moves. Look through the eyepiece. You'll see that your target is moved off-center in the eyepiece. Press right bracket until it is centered displays. The right bracket symbol stands for the right arrow key. Press the right arrow key until the target is centered again. Press Enter. Note that if you pass your target while pressing the right arrow key, you cannot slew the telescope back in the other direction using the left arrow key. If you pass your target, press mode until train drive as train displays and begin the procedure over again. When enter is pressed, the telescope moves and press left bracket until it is centered displays. The left bracket symbol stands for the left arrow key. Press the left arrow key until the target is centered again. Press Enter. Train Drive as Train displays again. Press the scroll down key and Train Drive Alt Train displays. Press Enter to begin Alt Training. Alt is the shortened form of the word altitude. This part of the procedure trains your telescope's drive on the declination or deck axis. This is the up and down or vertical movement of the telescope. The message Drive Setup for this operation begins to scroll across the display. This is another reminder to point your telescope at your chosen target. Loosen the deck lock. Loosen the RA lock. Point the telescope at your target. And then retighten the locks. Press Enter when the telescope is pointing at the target. Center Reference Object Displays. Center your target in the telescope's eyepiece using the arrow keys. When the target is centered, press Enter. When Enter is pressed, the telescope moves. Look through the eyepiece. 
you'll see that the target is moved off center in the eyepiece. Press up bracket until it is center displays. The up bracket symbol stands for the up arrow key. Press the up arrow key until the target is centered again. Press enter. Press down bracket until it is centered displays. The down bracket symbol stands for the down arrow key. Press the down arrow key until the target is centered again. Press enter. Keep pressing mode to exit this menu. You have now completed the train the drive procedure. Keep in mind that if you pass your target while pressing one of the arrow keys, you cannot slew the telescope back in the other direction using the opposite arrow key. If you pass your target, press mode and begin that procedure all over again. Tip. In order to get the greatest degree of training the drive accuracy, use one of Mead's 9mm or 12mm crosshair eyepieces. This will make it so that it's very easy to center your target.